Have you ever wondered why the Leaning Tower of Pisa is leaning? You might normally think it was designed in such a way, but the real reason behind the phenomena lies below the ground. The soil layers here are constantly settling due to the load transferred from the top by dissipating the excess water pressure. This getting out of water from soil layers is called consolidation, which leads to settlement. Confused? Well, this can be explained with a simple diagram. Soil is composed of fine particles and voids. These voids are filled with both air and water. During consolidation, the air first goes out as soon as the load is applied, which is known as compression. This is followed by the expulsion of water from the soil layer. As the water flows out, the solid particles are rearranged due to which the overall height of the soil is decreased. As such, settlement is taking place. Also, depending upon the void spaces inside the soil, the rate at which the water dissipates may vary. For relatively coarse materials, like sand, the water moves fast, while it takes longer time for water to move through finer particles like clay. Eventually, this will change the settlement time as well. Let's look at a demonstration. In the same container, one half is filled with sand and clay, while the other half is just clay. The sample is saturated by adding water. Then a load is placed over the sample and left to consolidate. It is seen that the half with the sand has settled a little bit more, because the poor water has dissipated more from this half. This is known as differential settlement, which if not considered can lead to instability of structures such as tilting. The wrong estimation or even negligence of consolidation can lead to severe structure failures. For instance, the Kansai International Airport is a famous case where the expected settlement was 19 to 25 feet, but the actual settlement went on to become 27 feet by the end of island construction, and it continued at the rate of 2 inches per month. Another well-known structure is again the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. During the investigation, the engineers apparently missed a layer of sand due to which the time for consolidation was overestimated. This accelerated the poor water dissipation and so the differential settlement and the infamous tilt. If there is a problem, there should be a solution, right? Consolidation is not an exception. The poor water can be made to dissipate very fast so that the soil is almost fully consolidated before the structure is placed. There are several methods for this. Preloading, loading the soil by some weight so that the soil is almost fully settled before construction begins, or sand drains, use of sand columns to dissipate the water faster as sand has higher permeability. Finally, consolidation is a natural process for saturated clay, but it can be dealt with proper site investigations and design.